Good evening and thanks for joining us. The Better Business Bureau warning consumers about what's called the one ring scam that can rack up charges on your cell phone bill just for answering a call. Jacqueline Kovac learned more about the scam and spoke with several people in our area who received the calls. Jackie? Yes, these calls reportedly come from areas in the Caribbean islands and just for answering your phone could mean unauthorized charges on your phone bill. Just weeks after several major companies revealed they were affected by a massive data breach, the Better Business Bureau wants consumers to be on the lookout for more potential attempts at someone getting their money. It's called the One Ring Scam. The calls are hard to trace, but scammers use computers to send thousands of calls to random cell phone numbers, most times only ringing once, then disconnecting. They want you to answer or call back. The result, a $19.95 international call fee and then a $9 per minute fee from the service. Because these calls are originating overseas, they are difficult for investigators to trace. It's hard with the internet because they can change, they can change where they're at, but they can't change your IP address. But people have to be vigilant. Elderly people especially have to be vigilant. Ron Esposito from Moxham deals with calls like this all the time. But I make the calls back in order to find out if the number is good. The number you dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. He says he gets calls from several different numbers in a single day, but he doesn't fall for them. He reports them. And if you get a call that's unwanted, you hit star 57 after the phone call, and it, they red flag it on your account. So when the police come in with a, with a warrant or with a, a subpoena to get the phone mess records, then they go straight to the account. They print off everything that was red flagged. Esposito suggests getting caller ID for your home phone and screening the numbers. Now, if you feel you were a victim, contact your service provider. They should be able to avoid the charges. Reporting live, Jacqueline Kovac, 6 News. And 